Hey guys, what's up? Broken Tumblers here. It's been a while since I did a uh, an out of a, a, sorry a uh, a you know sort of up to date uh, Lego Universe video. This is currently what Skyfist looks like. Uh, this is the character I used during the Let's Play series that I made. Uh, he is a rank three knight with the power jouster valiant weapon. Um, yeah, I got this Valiant weapon a while ago using a certain exploit that's no longer available, but uh, it was pretty useful in getting it. Um, so yeah, don't don't like uh, message me trying to find out how to get uh, the required coins because as you can see, uh, I have 893 coins now. I have no clue how to get more coins uh, aside from killing lots of enemies, which is just time consuming. And I'd rather not go through that right now. Uh, right now, though, I am here to make a video about the latest LEGO Universe update, uh, which has put in, not really put in, but which has uh, unlocked the third subclass for each, for each faction. So, uh, right now, I was already working on uh, the Samurai, and I had already finished the Knight. Um, you can see I have the knight gear up here, uh, as well as the power jouster, and then I also have, uh, I'm not rank 3 in the samurai, I have one piece of rank 3, but the rest is just rank 2, um, samurai gear, and then I have been working on, down here, the space ranger, uh, set, subclass. Um, and you know, I think they're lots of fun. A lot of these, uh, subclasses, in fact, I think all of them except for the Paradox faction who got the Shinobi subclass. Um, they are all, they're all ranged. I mean, you can see, uh, the, the shield ability that you have now is sort of like, you can see, sort of this bubble of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Uh, I think it's pretty cool looking though. Uh, you have a launcher, sort of like an orbital launcher in one hand. I don't know if you can use it without enemies. Uh, yeah, and I don't have the imagination either, but basically what it does is it calls down some sort of, you know, beam of light and that kills everything, whatever. Uh, you know, the gun is pretty cool. It's, the, the range isn't too great, but the spread is really good. It does actually hit everywhere that you can see. So, uh, so you have a few enemies in front of you, you can actually take out uh, three en about three enemies standing right next to each other. Uh, and then of course you have this weird sort of helmet move. I think I need a bit more uh, imagination for that though. Give me a second. I don't know, let's use the thumb on the imagination for some quick imagination. So uh, basically then you then have this uh, helmet move. So yeah, I think the uh, the Space Ranger kind of reminds me of some sort of uh, Buzz Lightyear sort of thing. I don't really like the way it looks. That the rank one kind of looks uh, cheap, doesn't look too good. Um, but you know, then you know it gets better. The Space Ranger rank two looks all right, and then the rank three makes you look like a major badass. Uh, reckon, reckon really. Um, now for the, for the Paradox faction, they have it a bit differently. Uh, instead of, instead of going, you know, all space age, they have, uh, they have the new Shinobi class, which is the second class that I'm actually interested in, uh, you know, investing in. The, here, let me, let me take, give you a quick look at what the Shinobi rank 3 looks like. It's, uh, it's this, but uh, Sutoru Hato, uh, he, he's wearing the all of the rank 3 pieces for the Shinobi subclass. Uh, in the beginning they look a bit like ninjas, but then they start to look a bit like samurais. Uh, but then they end up turning into these guys, which just look like stone cold assassins. Sorry if it's a bit hard to see, he's the, uh, the vendor. Um, so yeah, if you if you're not a paradox faction, if you are not in the paradox faction or the sentinel faction, though, you will have some other uh, subclass 
uh, you know, joining your faction's repertoire. Um, and I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, simply because I don't know how long this video is so far, uh, and I probably spent a bit too much time on the Space Ranger, but yeah, let's take a quick run to said area. I don't really know what this does. If anybody has any clue what that does, making a green jumping through there, if anybody knows what that does, please let me know because I am really curious as to what the hell that does. Right, so the Venture League, uh, in fact I'm not too sure where the member is, I think that's the piece of um, So yeah, the Venture, Venture League, they got the new subclass called the Adventurer, which is pretty much the Venture League's, the LEGO Universe's version of, uh, you know, applying Indiana Jones to the game. So, you know, it was inevitable. It's If you want to be like Johnny Thunder, uh, if you don't know who that is, you know, all, all the power to you because you'd have to be a major LEGO Universe geek to know who that is. But, um... Yeah, if you want to be like an Indiana Jones kind of guy, this is this is the subclass for you. Uh, what I find really cool is, I mean, you get a crossbow, but the rank 3 crossbow uh, involves getting the scope, which just looks great on the Lego crossbow. Uh, and then finally, finally you have for the assembly, let me, let me find those under, under area, I don't know where they are. This is like the first time I've been in the uh, assembly area, but let's take a... Hey, oh, hey, this guy, this guy is wearing the rank 3 of the new assembly uh, subclass. That was just like a sneak peek, I'm not sure how good a look you guys saw from that. Let's, let's see if we can find, find the vendor. Anyway, the, uh, the subclass for assembly is now known as the vendor. They are sort of, they're sort of, not ah, here, this guy. They, they're kind of like, uh, you know, mad scientists uh, sort of things. They got, they have these weird sort of, you know, beam guns. It's kind of hard to explain what they are, but uh, if you ever wanted to be some sort of an Iron Man type of LEGO Universe character, uh, I would highly recommend going an Inventor because they have lots of, diverse moves, and you know, they got guns, and they look very futuristic, and uh, the whole body is covered in armor, as opposed to, you know, even the knight, the most the knight has is some cool shoulder pads and weapon, but yeah, the, the one thing that kind of surprises me about all this is that, sorry about that guys, the one thing that surprises me about all this is that uh, the new subclasses don't actually involve any new Valiant weapons. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what that are, th what they are, they're pretty much these uh, really powerful weapons. Uh, pretty much like this thing that I'm holding, the power jouster. Uh, it's two-handed, so you can't really hold another uh, item with it. But the, the thing about it is that it is they, they are some of the more, more powerful weapons in the game, and uh, it's not so much because of their damage output, um, but more so because of the abilities that come with it, like. You know, for the power jouster, you can... Oh, okay, I think the animation didn't want to really do its job there, but uh, basically you can, you can toss it like a spear and almost get an instant kill on almost anything. Um, and, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty much just really, really overpowered weapons, and it just surprised me that they didn't come out with uh, new Valiant weapons for the new subclasses. Uh, and, yeah, lastly, they also added levels to the game. Uh, so Skyfist is level 28. Basically, you gain levels by gaining universe points, which is which are sort of like the uh, experience points of the game. But you get most of them from completing achievements in your passport. Uh, over here, yeah. These will give you universe points, uh, as well as completing missions. Uh, and I kind of think that's annoying that you have to complete missions and, you know, gain achievements to level up. I thought it would be kind of nice to be able to uh, do it by just, you know, farming, not farming, but, you know, grinding, uh, beating enemies. But I guess you do that enough anyway when you're trying to get tokens. 
Um, and then lastly, as a bonus, for those of you who didn't know, I would highly recommend coming to this place and blowing some red Imaginite. Uh, I wouldn't say one right after the other because after you use it for a little while, it'll you know start giving you shitty deals like this. But use it once, and uh, it will give you some nice nice items like you just saw. Uh, so yeah, I would highly recommend uh, this game to people who haven't haven't tried it yet. Uh, if you have tried it, um, I would say that this is a good good game for people who are looking for a casual MMO, uh, aren't in the mood for the whole, you know, epic gear thing or raids and all that stuff. This is good if you're just looking to, you know, whack some Lego pieces. Uh, so yeah, that was my mediocre coverage of the latest Lego Universe update, uh, and I hope you guys keep enjoying these Lego Universe videos. Uh, see ya.